and now it's time for the wisdom session we are eagerly waiting for that so i welcome everyone to the inner nature outer nature season 2 day 24 which is brought to you by the pyramid spiritual society's movement and psm swag in collaboration with our own media partner pms english so today i am going to invite a special person and they are nothing but the anita ma'am so let me introduce anita ma'am Mom has worked in corporate for 10 years and left her job as she wanted to enjoy her house life with family but there was always an eagerness in her to learn something and so she started to look out to learn for healthy cooking for her family she was introduced to so many health mon- monitors and during this journey and learned how to make sourdough an ancient way of making bread to feed her family and once she got mastery in this man started her knowledge to spread via sort of workshops along with her partner throughout india and other countries during lockdown her spiritual inclination was started where she got introduced to psism and one year back she was introduced to the path of gratitude and then mom has realized that this was missing in her life and from then Anita ma'am was continuously practicing meditation and spreading about how uh, are spreading about the meditation and sharing their wisdom so i'm eagerly waiting for her wisdom so ma'am a beautiful morning and the session is yours ma'am over to you thank you so much for the beautiful introduction harshita uh, divine morning to everyone and the way uh, harshita gave the gratitude to everyone the people who are working behind the scene uh i'm also truly grateful to them uh, grateful to harshita for the beautiful introduction and the way she is handling hosting the whole show hats off to her and yamini also and uh, heartfelt gratitude to vinay who is working behind the zoom and all the masters truly and my uh, panita akka who gave me the opportunity to come over here and to speak on today's topic and heartfelt gratitude to my guru Pitama Brahmeshi Patriji, who created such beautiful platform for all of us. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming and participating in today's session. So, before I start with the journey to the main topic, I would like to cover up a few of the things. So, actually, uh, you know, the universe is filled with magic, and uh, it really wants to give you the abundance of all good things. You know, but what is happening is like. uh we either we are holding a small vessel or very uh, big vessel but which has leakages you know and because of those leakages we are not able to receive the abundance from the universe you know and what are those leakages let's understand through the slides but i will give you the hint uh, not hint but i'll tell you all clearly uh, you know the blame the uh, the lower frequency or the you know complaints the criticize the criticism and all those things they create the leakages in your vessel you know so so let's begin the journey i'll open the slide you must have heard you know plenty of things like law of attraction um frequencies so little bit we will be touching up on those part also before coming to the main topic so when you are when you will be following the practice of gratitude you know uh, by this means you will acquire the glory of the world emerald tablet uh, it was uh, emerald tablet is basically it's a stone green stone where all the hidden secrets were written you know so among those this was the quote which was taken from the emerald tablet so it's a uh, what is the universal law you know so universal law is law of attraction okay so according to the law of attraction uh, which is like attract like okay so it's because of the law of attraction that cells of every living creature held together okay and this law governs all the energy in our universe from the formation of an atom to the movement of the planets in your life too the law operates on your thought feelings because these are energy too and so whatever you feel you you attract to you okay so even uh, your thoughts and the feelings 
they have energy too. So it is based on this law to ev to every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. You must have heard this law by Isaac Newton. So, so the law of attraction is based on this law only. So whatever you give, you receive. Now what you give in the form of feeling, you will be receiving that same thing. So every action of giving creates an opposite action of receiving. And what you receive is always equal to what you have given. So the law of attraction, whatever you give out in your life must return to you. It is the physics and the mathematics of universe. So it can never go wrong. So whatever today, in today uh, we are facing, uh, it's all because of the seed which I have sown in this lifetime or in pre uh, previous lifetimes, you know. So uh, so that's why we are, if, uh, if we are having any breakdowns in, your, um, in our lives, so, so it is all because of that only. So now we have understood that the law of attraction is the physics and mathematics of the universe. Give positivity, you receive back positivity. Give negativity, you receive back negativity. Give positivity, you receive back a life full of positive things. Give negativity and you receive back a life filled with negative things. So before complaining, you know, be aware who um, are you whole day. Uh, because if you just analyze your life, you know, um, just observe. Are you throughout the day, are you, you know, maximum time complaining of what things are not happening in your life? Or are you on that mode of, you know, um, giving gratitude or saying the things which are happening in your life, be it one person, you know, because you must have heard where the attention goes, the energy flows. So if I'm giving just in whole day, if even if one thing happened, well, give gratitude to that. Speak about it. Keep speaking about it to many people, you know. So that's way you that's how you will spread more energy. And how you give positivity or negativity, you know. So the law of attraction says whatever you give, you receive. So how you give, so how you give that positive and negativity through your thoughts and feeling. Okay. So your thoughts are even the Bhagavad Gita says the karma starts from your thought level, you know, not with the speech. First, it starts with your thought level. So it's very important what you're thinking, what you're feeling. You are the most powerful magnet in the universe. Okay. So as a human being, we are truly a very powerful magnet. And uh, you have a magnet power within you that is more powerful than anything in this world. And magnetic power is emitted through your thoughts. Okay. So how this is how effective your thoughts are. You are a human being transmission tower and you are more powerful than any television tower created on earth. Your transmission creates your life and it creates the world. Thoughts are magnetic and thoughts have a frequency. So that's why we have to be careful about what we are thinking throughout the day. But not all thoughts will manifest luckily. So in a day, if you'll uh, see, we keep on thinking so many thoughts, you know, thousands and thousands of thoughts. And luckily, they don't manifest because we are sending those signals. So thoughts with the feeling is the fuel which helps in manifestation. So thought is like a rocket. But when we fill in the uh, fuel of feeling into that, there, that's how that uh, thought takes off to the manifestation level. So luckily, this is the uh, not every thoughts will manifest. But when you do with the feeling, when you think with the feeling, that will manifest. So be careful where you're where you're attaching your feeling, which to which thoughts you're attaching your feeling. Because we are very powerful magnet. As surely as you think and feel, the law of attraction is responding. So it is all the law of attraction is always working on you. It is never like that for certain people. The law of attraction won't work or for certain people it's working. It is working on each and every, uh, as we read, on the cell, atom, 
and pa planets and even the human beings okay at every moment of time the law of it of attraction is responding to you it doesn't matter whether your thoughts and feelings are good or bad so law of attraction doesn't know about good or bad okay it just understands okay you are giving that feeling it will give you back accordingly okay so you are yeah so yeah it doesn't matter whether your thoughts and feelings are good or bad you are giving them out they will return to you as automatically and as precisely as echo returns the same word same word sent out but this mean but this means that you can change your life by changing your thoughts and feeling so thank god luckily we can change whatever we have given we can change it okay so give positive thoughts and feeling and you will change your entire life for this you can use uh take help of affirmation feel the words while affirming the sentences okay so many times we do affirmations um and we expect to miracle to happen so if you want the miracle to happen then you need to attach the feeling also while affirming it feel it and then affirm it okay so that's how the change will happen in your life most people think and talk about what they don't love more than they think and talk about what they love yeah this is like even i have experienced even i was doing the same practice like throughout the day i used to just talk about what was not happening what was uh, complaining and all those things but uh, when i read the these books uh i realized what blunder i was doing you know uh, so they yeah so when we talk about what we are uh, what we don't love we are giving out more negativity okay and in doing so they uh, we are in uh, inadvertently depriving ourselves with all the good things in our life okay so uh, because what is love love is like when your uh, love is actually the greatest power of the universe i'll uh, i'll be sharing you know the frequency chart where this love comes uh, where this love stands for uh, this love is different uh, it's the divine love or the uh, the highest frequency which mirabai used to uh, have you know so it's talking about that kind of love you know so people who have great lives think and talk about what they love more than what they don't love okay and people who are struggling uh think and talk about what they don't love more than what they do love so yeah many so love frequency is like being positive or seeing positive side in any situation okay this love means so uh, yeah many people will say that then how to you know convey our complaints or grievances so you should be doing it but there is a way i mean not you should not be in that mode throughout the day okay you should take the proper step proper action and then just uh that's all but not throughout the day being in that frequency always okay that's where we go wrong so we as a human being uh, have a strong magnetic field and uh, this magnetic field is again uh, you know with the plus and uh, minus or the positive or the negative energies so the more positive your magnetic field will be you will be attracting more positive situations in your life so as per your magnetic field you attract those kinds of situation in your life so feeling frequency uh, there is a great say which is said by nikola tesla if you want to find the secret of the universe think in terms of energy frequency and vibration okay and your feelings are your god by chanakya so really he meant it uh the code is very deeper you know when i read the secret books and the magic book and the power i realized the importance of our uh, you know feeling really they are a uh, god so be careful what feeling you are generating throughout the day so this is the feeling chart which i would like to show you all
okay i'm not able to do it sorry so yeah so the the words which are written in red the fonts which are in red like boredom irritation disappointment worry criticism anger hate envy guilt despair fear these are the lower frequencies okay and when you are in these frequency throughout the day maximum time of the day like even for 13 hours you are under these frequencies uh, definitely you are moving towards the towards the things which you don't want in your life okay so whenever you realize that you are in these frequency try to come in uh, in the upper frequency which are written in white fonts okay so at least come to the satisfaction level accept the thing okay i am uh, i i accept it i am responsible or whatever the step you want to take it come to the satisfaction level okay so uh, satisfaction hope enthusiasm excitement passion joy gratitude and love love is the divine love as i said so before love comes the gratitude so the gratitude is the highest frequency tool so these are the tools actually or the frequency chart i can say uh, which one can use to reach towards what they want in their life okay so when you are on the on these white zone uh, i can say of gratitude joy passion excitement and enthusiasm uh, satisfaction hope love you are moving towards the thing which you want in your life okay so in a day just you can keep this chart and just keep on seeing whether uh, i am on the lower frequency or on the higher frequency because um, as i said these frequency they also become the part of your magnetic aura okay so all the time we can't be in excitement all the time we can't be uh, in passion or enthusiasm uh, there's there are certain time where you will go down also you know and it's it's normal but you're taking efforts so appreciate that efforts that okay i'm doing this you know so yeah this require a constant uh, awareness of your thoughts and uh, feeling that where, what i'm thinking you know so if you feel uh, something worry kind of negative situation try to get for the solution you know focus your uh, if your mind is thinking on the you know the problems try to look out for the solutions at least or the things you want just write it write them down and just uh, you know keep on reading them at least instead of you know reading those negative uh, going through the, of those negative feeling you better that you focus on what you want okay so start writing what you want so get you this way you will start giving the energy of what you want and definitely that would be positive only that won't be negative because we always want for ourselves the positive things okay so how to change something uh, negative if there is something negative in your life you want to change it the process is the same give love by imagining and feeling that what you want sorry uh, give love by imagining and feeling that you have what you want okay so the visualization technique i'll say is uh, the same only you know in the visualization you uh, imagine and you feel it you know many time what happens many uh, why things they don't manifest uh, is like they don't give the feeling to that visualization you know people they do visualize they do see okay i'm doing this i'm doing that but they don't feel it so uh, so their rocket is not taking off you know and they expect that this will work so use the feeling like feel it that you have you already have it you know and not like you will receive it no be in that um, frequency that you already have it and how you will do it now you know so that is how you change it also uh, remember that anything negative is lack of love so you have to imagine the opposite of the negative situation because its opposite is love for example if you have an illness that you want to be gone give love to for the body being healthy so if suppose any part of the body is not healthy so at least start giving uh, love to the you know the area or the body parts which are healthy 
so by doing your focusing again you are shifting your focus from the parts which are healthy okay so when you shift your attention or your yeah when you shift your attention you change the frequency also because you are now you are not in that uh, lower frequency now you are in the higher frequency of what is there good in your body part and you are giving love and or gratitude also so uh, actually yeah over here i i take help of affirmations also because they help me a lot whenever i feel something negative i start uh, affirming the positive sentences and i start feeling it you know so uh, you know if you're facing the money issue so you can just uh, feel it that i'm money magnet i'm um, i have abundant of money so when you are affirming just feel it okay so gratitude is that frequency where we can be maximum time you know how first let's understand um whoever has the gratitude will be given more okay and he or she will have an abundance whoever does not have gratitude even what he or she has will be taken from him or her emerald tablet and the same thing uh, even our holy texts they say okay and it is written on emerald tablet that means really they mean it okay so when you are in this frequency of um, gratitude you will be given more okay but again as a human mind we keep on expecting drop your expectation please you know so no matter who you are no matter where you are no matter what your current circumstances the magic of gratitude will change your life will change your entire life truly if you are not grateful for what you have received and what you are receiving you will you are not giving love okay and you don't have the power to change any of your current circumstances so uh, initially before coming to gratitude even i used to be okay uh, i used to just verbally used to say just thank you um but i never practice so deeply you know um how to be in gratitude you know how to be in gratitude is totally different than just saying thank you you know uh, without feeling or just okay i'm thankful for that but yes but when i uh, read the magic book you know the magic book where ha they have the practices of 27 days you know one needs to be dedicatedly you know practicing those uh, the practice which ronda brian has written it very nicely and these practices will help you to change your life really you know so when you give thanks for what you have received you are con you are continuing to receive it and it multiplies those things at the same time gratitude brings what you want okay so <clears throat> be grateful for what you want in your life as though you have received it and the law of attraction says you will receive it so gratitude is like um yes many times we are hardly we just take it for granted you know and when you are taking it for granted you won't be given any more than okay so be in this frequency um you have to keep on constantly reminding ourselves okay uh, let me be thankful you know because uh, when i used to practice initially uh, the gratitude many times i used to skip it used to skip from my mind you know to say thanks or to feel thanks but uh, later on then um, yeah it is like a self awareness also it creates a self awareness oh i didn't give thanks let me give thanks to whatever i'm using it throughout the day so with the practices with the magic book practices at least these practices they uh, the the gratitude went into the deeper level of me you know so i started to understand okay this is why like uh, when i get up in the morning 
I give thanks to the good night's sleep which I had, which we were we hardly give it. You know, I give thanks to my, uh, you know, my bed, my bed sheet, my pillow, for giving me such comfortable sleep for throughout the night. You know, as I open my eyes, whatever I see inside my room, I just give gratitude to it. I give gratitude to the fan, to the electricity which is, uh, you know, coming every time. You know, without any uh, fail, I am truly I am really blessed to have this facility in my house. Because at in many states, in many areas, they don't have you know twenty four hours electricity supply. So at least I, it gives you the realization: be grateful for what you have, you know. So, so I go to uh, the washroom or bathroom. I give gratitude for that also. At least I have that bathroom and washroom in my house. Many uh, they have to go outside, you know. So we are truly so blessed living in such a beautiful place. Getting all the uh, facility of water supply. The, I have soap and shampoo in my house. I'm grateful for that. You know, I have uh, utensils. I have the, you know, the grains. I can cook anything for my family. You know, we are lucky to have meals. So many meals in a day, truly. You know, so it's a grace. It's a grace. I'm able to see that is also a big grace. You know, have you given uh, thanks daily to your eyes? because of the eyes you are able to see this beautiful world you are able to do what you want your whole body actually requires 5 minutes of gratitude you know 5 to 10 minutes of gratitude especially your brains your brain which is a powerhouse you know giving you the thoughts the ideas and because of which only you are able to survive you are able to earn so yes my mentor helped uh, uh, me very nicely the way she explained you know how to be in gratitude how to live in gratitude this is how so whatever I see I, I touch I just say thank heartfelt thank you or thank you for being with me you know I think say thank you to my mirror to my calendar to my thoughts so whatever I see I give thanks yeah so gratitude is the great multiplier so why it is a great multiplier? Because it is the highest frequency tool. Okay, frequency tool. So when you are grateful for the things you have, no matter how small they may be, you will receive more of those things in your life. Okay? If you are grateful for the money you have, however little, you will receive more. So it doesn't matter, uh, you know, even if you have having 1 rupee or 10 rupee or 15 rupee or few dollars in your bank account just be grateful daily just give thanks to that money also okay or whatever is there in your wallet because um, the gratitude is the great multiplier remember everything one thing okay so when you go to your office or your factory just give gratitude to the premises to the whole factory the staff who is working for you to the plant and machinery to the raw materials you know, so at deepest level, you have to be in great uh, in gratitude for all those things which has been given to you. If you are grateful for a relationship, even if it is not perfect, the relationship will get better. So yes, for the relationship, you can give gratitude to the um, to that part of that person which is um, you find it very nice from. I know from 80%, at least there will be something uh, from 100%, at least there will be some point which is positive in that person. Start focusing on that. Start giving gratitude to it. Okay. So that little, little thing with help of gratitude uh, tool, it will multiply. Okay. So at least write 15 points for that person if you want to change that relationship daily. You know, keep that photo of that person and just write 15 points positive about it and be grateful for that you know it will take time you know it may take time and you'll see the changes happening we have seen during our sessions okay so if you're grateful for the job that you have even if it is not your dream job you will receive better opportunities in your work okay so many times uh, we are landed uh, you know for the work which we don't love no matter, uh, so no worries, just start giving gratitude to your desktop, to your laptop, to your uh, whatever you're using on um, in that workspace. Give gratitude to your workspace, to your company, uh, to your employer, 
I know many times it doesn't come out very well with the employer sometimes, but you can skip it. But give gratitude to whatever you're using to your employees who are uh, such friendly with you. So give, try to look out for the positivity again, you know, being grateful or being, being in gratitude means looking out the positivity from that negative situation and giving gratitude to it. That is the level of gratitude which we all have to reach. Okay? Because gratitude is the greatest multiplier of life as it's a higher frequency tool. So if the only prayer you say in entire life is thank you, that is enough. Okay? So gratitude begins with two simple words. Thank you. But you have to feel the gratitude with all your heart. So many times people, they say, uh, ma'am, oh, you know, we are saying, we are doing all the practices, but I'm not seeing the result. So the solution is in your, in you yourself. I cannot do anything. I can just show you the path. We can just show you the, you know, the tools and techniques. But why you're failing? Why you're not able to achieve? Because you have not attached the feeling. You know, we are doing the practices. We are in that doing mode, but we are not coming into that being mode. Being in gratitude, feeling, you know, so the feeling is the fuel. So even if I'm saying thank you, am I feeling it? You know, so you have to work on the feeling level, guys. Okay, when you're doing gratitude practices. So it will take time, you know, even for me till now I'm working and it is a journey. It is a journey of years. Okay, so don't give up. Just keep on practicing because it is one of the higher frequency tool which you can, which can change your life, really. Okay. So to live in gratitude, to experience the magic in your life, thank you must become the two words you deliberately say and feel more than any other word. Okay. They need to become your identity. They need to become your identity in the sense, okay, this person is, I mean, this is my behavior. This is my characteristic of being grateful. Okay. Th so thank you is the bridge from where you are now to the life of your dream. So it is the force of your feeling that accelerate the magic in your life. The more sincerely grateful you are, the faster you will, your life will change. So here is the answer. Okay. So how to deepen your gratitude. Okay. So for what? So always... Uh, think about what you are grateful and why you are grateful for. So when you attach that why, the the feeling also deepens a lot, you know. Uh, so if suppose if I'm grateful for my eyes, I just I will just say that I say that I'm so grateful for my eyes, you know, uh, because I can see it, you know, I can do whatever I want. I can see this beautiful world. I'm so grateful for my fingers, for my hands, so that I can work and feed my family or because of my fingers and hands, I'm able to perform the actions in my office and throughout the day also, which is, which helps me so much without hand. It's so difficult to, uh, can you work without hands or fingers? No. So let's give gratitude to it also. So when you attach that, because you realize the importance of that, why you are grateful for, you know? So when you attach the why, you, the feeling also deepens more. So the, uh, the magic formula for the gratitude is deliberately think and say the magic word, thank you, along with the feeling. Okay, the more deliberately you think and say the magic word, thank you, the more gratitude you feel. The more gratitude you deliberately think and feel, the more abundance you receive. So this is the magic formula. So even the scientists like Isaac Newton, uh, they used to use thank you. You know, so in a day he used to say a thousand times thank you to all the people who did the uh, inventions and discoveries. So he used to give thank you at that level, you know, to that level. So it's so inspiring for us to be in gratitude. So in order to Gratitude. Uh, so in order gratitude to work for you, you'll have to give heartfelt gratitude for your past, present and future. Okay. So yeah, because in the past, we have created many potholes. 
okay uh with why how the potholes has been have been created uh, because of the complaining criticism uh yeah okay fearing all those lower frequency we have created the potholes so we need to fill in that those potholes with help of gratitude and when you do that your life becomes more magical so past in the past how you can give the gratitude it is uh, good that you can uh, you know uh, i'll recommend the book the magic book if you can read and start doing the practices um the daily practices so in the past you can start with from your childhood or from the place of birth first so you have to give uh, gratitude to your parents you know because they are the energy source or uh, sorry they are the source through whom uh, you came into this world so give heartfelt gratitude to your parents to your mom and dad to uh, you know mother earth to the place where you were born to the house where you spent your childhood you know to the uh, school where you went to your siblings so give gratitude to everything to the uh, you know to the money to the books which you have used during the childhood the the clothes for the clothes give gratitude for the clothes for the shelter which you had during your childhood and school days give gratitude to all your schools so in a life uh, if any part of your life which is having any kind of breakdown you know uh, usually we talk in terms of breakdowns we don't say problems or uh, yeah so we say uh, okay i am facing breakdown in this area of my life so that means somewhere i was complaining in that area that's why today in this life uh, or in this situation or or this lifetime or in this phase of life i am i am facing the issue okay so start giving gratitude in that field so if suppose uh, if you're facing a um, job related issue or uh, sorry job related breakdown okay so you will be giving gratitude heartfelt gratitude to all the jobs you have done in the past till now okay be it small or big okay even in the school if you have taken some job of doing some project if you completed that project give gratitude for that so any small job which you have taken will come under job okay so give gratitude to the previous employer or the job or the place where you have worked do it daily okay so this is how you uh, start filling that those potholes which you have created in the past okay so just analyze today where you uh, uh, where you need uh, where you are facing the challenges so in that area start giving gratitude from the past okay so if you want to make a change first be grateful for everything you received in your past from uh, in the past and then be grateful for everything you are receiving in your life for the present thing so in at present what you have what you are receiving be grateful for that and then be grateful for what you want in your life as though you have received it so give the gratitude for the things which you want in your life as if you have already is received it so if uh, it was a you know dream house which i was supposed to buy i'll give gratitude in advance only you know i i'm so thankful and grateful to receive this joy uh, to receive this house of mine at so and so place so yes you need to be very precise with job and which house okay so with every negative uh, things we count we cancel out blessings that were on their way so as i said uh, the when we complain or when we criticize we create the potholes okay and uh, along with the potholes what happens we move 10 steps back from the abundance of that stage okay when we are giving out uh, or take talking about the negative thing about that particular uh when we are talking about negative about that particular thing we go back 10 step back from that abundance stage of that thing okay so give thanks um so here uh, are few examples how you can you know be thankful so give thanks for your senses definitely without senses um uh, you cannot experience the things you know your eyes that can see your ears that hears just imagine you know one day without hearing anything like 
many people they will like they won't be able to survive they will say oh i'm not able to hear you you know it's such a uh, blessing to at least we are able to hear and that hearing has helped in our evolution so much otherwise it would have been we wouldn't have uh, you know com- uh, there would have been a communication gap and all those things so it's a blessing that we can hear you know the mouth that taste if one day if uh, you know the taste buds are like because of the health breakdown uh, like fever uh, you must have experience you know the taste bud goes away you don't feel what you are eating you you are not able to taste it you know the food so let's be grateful for that you know that taste in your mouth the taste senses your nose that smells and take the breath okay your skin that lets you feel okay give thanks for your legs you walk on so whenever i walk i give thanks to my slippers or the shoes the socks the knees the whole leg which is able to balance the body okay so this is how deeply we have to go into that your hands that you do almost everything okay your voice that enables you to express yourself and communicate with others so i am so thankful to my throat and the voice box and my mouth and tongue and teeth because of which i'm able to speak i'm able to convey the this wisdom gratitude wisdom with everyone and give thanks for your amazing immune system daily really you know and uh, that keeps you well or heals you and for all your organs that maintains your body so that you can live give thanks for the magnificent of your human mind that no computer technology in the world can duplicate your entire body is the greatest laboratory on the planet there is nothing that can come even close to re- replicating its magnificent so you are miracle you are a miracle amazing give thanks for your home your family your friends your work and your pets so today if you are facing any uh, issue towards your friend side so there was some instance there were some instances where you were not grateful or you were complaining for that friend so be aware of what you are doing giving out give thanks for the sun the water you drink the food you eat and the air that you breathe without them you wouldn't be alive so true so if you'll see our you know ancient wisdom the rituals where uh, people immediately after getting up they used to worship you know they used to worship sun so that was the way of offering gratitude to the sun you know they used to do uh, prayers before eating their meals do you all remember even uh, we practice like a small prayer so that prayer is the way of giving gratitude to that food you know that we are so blessed to have this meal so in our ancient practices we had this uh practice of uh, doing gratitude but we forgot that gratitude part and we just got lost in that rituals you know even uh, the same way like you know immediately after getting up people used to take bath and do poojas so the puja was also a way of giving gratitude you know so yeah so we forgot that giving gratitude instead of giving gratitude we were just we are just lost in the rituals okay this is missing that is missing i have to offer this i have to offer that no you know what is your feeling inside are you being grateful to the divine for what you are being given so you know today just sit near your temple and just say thank you thank you divine just say 100 time thank you to him to that energy that is that will be your biggest prayer which you can do it give thanks for the trees because they give oxygen and maintain temperature very true the animals the oceans the birds the flowers the plant blue skies rain the stars the moon and our beautiful planet mother earth give thanks for the transportation you use every day and the people who have worked behind this transportation behind making these roads you know just imagine them working in such hard and making the roads for you let's be grateful to them let's be grateful to the people who are lay over uh, the pipelines the water supplies for you for the hard for their hard work and the money energy which was involved give thanks for all the companies that provide you with essential service so that you can live a comfortable life definitely so when 
you know many uh, uh, many times we start giving complaints to the electricity department or the electricity provider or oh, they have built up so much see when you have to pay the money or uh, when you have to pay it out pay it you know but while paying just be in gratitude feeling and take a an appropriate step we are not saying that don't take step no take a an appropriate step but don't be in that feeling of uh, negativity okay take the step take uh, escalate that matter to the appropriate department and close it but while paying if you have to pay then pay with the gratitude okay be grateful for the service provided to give that facility to you otherwise it would have been so difficult to install those uh, uh, you know those uh, electricity things so that you can get that electricity to your house you know installing those solar uh, things and then getting that electricity it is a uh, tedious job you know and uh, with just click of button you are getting that electricity in your house so let's be grateful for that okay daily give thanks to whenever you are switching on the light or fan or using the ac give thanks to your ac uh, sorry the electricity behind which is running okay so this is how uh, many have experienced that their electricity bill have reduced because giving their heartfelt gratitude so you can try it out it's magical so many human uh, beings to toiled sweated so that you can turn on the tap and have fresh water so many human beings gave their lives work so that you can with flick of light switch on and have electricity think about the magnitude of human beings who slaved day after day after years year after years to lay that train tracks across our planet so true so heartfelt gratitude to all of them really so so the gratitude is the currency to buy your dreams from the universe so keep on collecting them with your heartfelt gratitude okay <clears throat> so you have got the knowledge of uh, you know how to do the the importance of gratitude and everything but the main thing is the knowledge is of no use until unless you practice it okay so the practice is the key so you have to keep on reminding it oh no let me be in gratitude let me say thank you so you can do the magical walk magical walk is like with every step today whenever you are walking just keep on saying thank you with each step so you can thank pull to the mother earth for allowing you to walk over uh, her you know you can be thankful for this human body which you got, got after so many i mean it's not easy to get human life so let's be grateful for that okay so every morning you should be grateful for this human body which you have got you know for a purpose so yeah a uh, magical walk with every step you will be deliberately saying thank you so this uh, this practice will help you to focus on saying thank you okay so that's why i have included this practice number 1 for today for you all to practice at least something so be grateful to mother earth for allowing you to walk over the earth be grateful to your leg to your foot to your ankle knees spine for the support for your walk and balancing the body okay so 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 please practice today deliberately saying thank you uh, but yes the feeling will uh, the generation of that feeling will take some time okay and uh, practice number 2 which you can start with is like you know writing gratitude journal in your gratitude book as soon as you get up you know uh, in this uh, so the format i've given or you can check out the magic book also what you are grateful for and why you are grateful for it. in this format you will be writing at least minimum 10 gratitudes so example i am thankful to my um, laptop so that i can do my work i am so thankful of having money so that because i can pay rent of my house or my emis of the house so any 10 points you can pick it up from the past or from the previous day and just write it down and be grateful for that and you can just write a simple gratitude also you know i'm so grateful that i had a good night sleep truly i'm grateful for that my body is rejuvenated you know i'm grateful for that that i have a um, an amazing meal yesterday night you know so it can be even tiny thing 
but be grateful from your heart you know i'm grateful for the person who cooked for me you know i'm grateful for all the ingredients so actually when i go into the kitchen so i just keep on giving thanks to my gas stoves to the uh, you know the the gas supplies to the utensils which i'm using even while washing i just give gratitude to the you know to the water and the people who have worked behind bringing that water to my house you know to the tap to the place where i'm standing to the workstation even the kitchen is my workstation i give heartfelt gratitude to that so so today throughout the day whatever you're picking or whatever you're touching or whatever you are seeing just say thank you to it okay so yeah always remember a grateful person is always grateful in every situation okay so it shouldn't come up like ma'am we have been uh, like people this do ask us like you know we have been practicing so many months and i'm not seeing the result so are you uh, again like work on your you have to work on your feeling maybe somewhere there is a lack of feeling or the potholes are so big that it takes it will take more of your gratitude to fill in those potholes and the complaints and in the end i would like to thank you all for attending today's session so nicely and i'm thankful to my mentors through whom i learned how to practice being in gratitude and Rhonda Bryan and grateful to her books the power the secret and the magic book really it has taught me how to be grateful for thank you so much everyone thank you i hope it has given you some value uh today's session ma'am that was a wonderful session actually we all who are participating here and people who are watching in the youtube we show huge gratitude to you for sharing the wisdom about the gratitude because we think magic is something like we li life will change if we do some big things in our life but it starts from saying thank you to every little thing that is the secret of our life and thank you for sharing all your wisdom ma'am thank you so much and thank you so much for inviting me today over here thank you we are so blessed to have you like you reminded every little thing like thank your body thank your eyes thank uh, thank the mother earth so maybe we all forget and all those things because of our busy works and all the things so thank you for reminding each and everything ma'am we'll definitely practice all the things from today right now itself so uh, anyone have any questions you can ask ma'am if you have any queries or questions of you if you want to give any feedback hi anita ma'am i Hello, thoroughly engaged what you are speaking today um Thank you. a very very simple practices that we really forget in our day to day life so you exactly reminded the uh, be grateful whatever we have already and whenever i feel sad i do these little practices when i go for a bath and feel the water the touching the skin and feel the wind is kissing your skin and blowing in the air this instantly uplifts our uh, mood wow and i try to hold the same feeling for some time but unconsciously i tend to get back to the work step but you reminded to be grateful for everything yeah this is so nice so nice one i have a question how do you justify between gratitude and love so what is the slight difference yeah. so the frequency which you the frequency chart which you saw so here there the love is like a divine love you know which mirabai had for the divine for the krishna so that kind of love it is talking about so being in love is like seeing always positive in any worst situation really worst and it is okay. a practice so with help of gratitude tool you reach to that level you know because again gratitude is like giving being grateful for even small small things you know okay. so uh, that love is not uh, related to love or lust and all those things no that love is like a divine love which it is talking about and which is the highest frequency which one attains it's like moksha 
that love okay. it is talking about so the gratitude is the bridge through which you reach to that level actually so that's why gratitude is so important which i was to told during my childhood like you know if i'm thankful if i'm saying thank you i need to say it with my feeling so we would have filled in so many uh, you know the portals which we have created in the past but no worries we have got the knowledge now how to use it yes sometimes sometimes we don't feel right so whatever we have the intention the feeling doesn't appear to doesn't appear here so does it take practice yes it does take practicing practice. many times yes yes even uh, even f with me uh, like few months i hardly had a feeling i used to just say deliberately thank you but uh, it is a practice like when i started to sit and write why i am grateful for and for what i am grateful for that's when the feeling created you know okay i am grateful because so and so a person has done this for me you know so i'm grateful for that okay. so that feeling comes out automatically just imagine like i'm using a tap water i'm cleaning a utensil or doing some uh, you know farming work so at least just imagine the hard work of so many people who have worked behind the scene you know to get that water to your place it is really a commendable job so that feeling comes deliberately like let me be thankful to them you know so mm -hmm. even uh, yeah even if i'm sitting on this chair i'll i'll be grateful for the people who have made this chair their hard work you know so yeah you have to be in awareness what you're seeing what you're using be grateful for that Okay. Man, you said uh, a magic book. Is it Arthur? Yes, uh, Rhonda Bryant, the magic. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. And along with that, read this also. The power. Sorry, the power. These are like my Bhagavad Gita, New Age. So But nice, don't sir. read like a novel. Uh, read slowly and. Uh, nicely because these are the live books and these sentences they are very powerful so whatever i have shared today on the screen is, is the extract from these books and i trust i trust them thank you so thank much you. for asking thank your you question so dana kumar thank you thank you ma and ma'am i have a question yeah it's not like a question ma'am uh, in our psm you know patrisha used to Cook uh, for all of us. Uh, he loved cooking. So when I was reading your introduction, I was so inspired. Like you have uh, resigned the job because you wanted to serve your family and you wanted to cook for them, and that inspired me a lot. And Amma, will you please share a little story behind that? Uh, we are eagerly wanted to listen about that, ma'am. uh so actually during this journey i realized like uh, you know cooking is such a important thing you know uh, because when i am cooking i am giving my energy into that food and that food will be served to my family so um, i get the basic done from the my house help but for the cooking i stand and i do the cooking uh, i ensure that you know they are being at least whatever meals they are having at home they it should be from my hands and uh, so i wanted to make everything even for for the breads also so that's how my journey started with the sardo breads also so this is how uh, yes patri ji was inspiring for everyone like you know his i mean blessed are those people who have eaten from his hand so thank you so much for asking this question <laughs> thank you ma'am thank you so much so uh, that was really a great session ma'am we learned a lot you reminded every little thing how to show gratitude so thank you so much we are so blessed uh, to gain that wisdom from you ma'am thank you so much and yes i just wanted to add a one more point which i missed uh, on yes, gratitude it's like uh, that god just wants your heartfelt gratitude that's all he doesn't want anything else you know he just want your heartfelt gratitude um for whatever he has done for you so let's be in great gratitude for him thank you so much everyone for watching us have a blessed day bye i show huge gratitude to who ever participating in this session and a special special thanks to anita ma'am for 
the great wisdom about the gratitude and let us all practice all those things in our life from today and thank you so much for participating last but not least for all these wisdom sessions please do like share and subscribe our pmc channels thank you each and everyone